Hi everyone, this is Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. I'm going to demonstrate how to make this easy sewing machine cover and it really is a beginner's project so I encourage you all to give this a try. So let's get started. Take your two pieces for the side and bring the two ends together. Stitch a quarter inch seam and then press that seam open. Layer all of your sections in the following way. Take your lining piece and put the front side of the lining down so you're looking at the back. Then lay your cotton batting on top then place your outside fabric on top of that. So you're doing the layering like this for your front and back sections, your side section, and the two pockets. Then scatter pins all over the top. Then you're going to do some quilting stitches. You can either do straight lines up and down and side to side, you can go at a diagonal going corner to corner and if you have decorative quilting stitches you can use that also and you can also do the same thing going corner to corner. Make sure you use a walking foot because this will help to keep your fabric from uh, getting little pin tucks in it and shifting. You can get them on Amazon.com or any sewing uh, machine supply website or sewing machine store. Just look up the model number and enter the name of your machine and the model number and that you want a walking foot. On both the front and back sections on the top two corners you're going to cut some of this corner off. You're going to round it. So take something round. I'm just using a small bowl and trace around it and go over and do this corner too. Line it up and then go ahead and cut so that your corners look like this. Let me pull it back. There you go. And then here's this one over here. So again, both the front and back sections. Take both your binding strips, fold them in half, and press with your iron. Place the raw edges of the binding up against the top edge, and this is the seven and a half inch width here. Then after stitching one quarter inch along here, press this towards the edge, and then you're going to fold it over and pin it on the back and make sure you bring this folded edge here past your stitch line and pin across the top edge so that your binding stays in place after pinning then on the front side you're going to do stitch in the ditch right along here so you're stitching on this darker fabric here but you're not stitching on the binding but you're stitching very close to the binding and this is what it looks like on the back. At each end of the side section place the pocket with the back side of the pocket against the front side of the side section. Then just do a machine basting stitch along the sides. Take both the front and back sections and fold them in half and on the fold line place a pin to mark the center. Also do the same thing with your side section. Fold it in half, 
to find the center and place a pin. Then you're going to take the two pins and match and you're going to begin pinning it. And I want you to look to see how I've pinned this corner. After you've pinned one side, then go along and begin pinning the other side. After that, then stitch one quarter inch seam all the way around. Once you have done that, then you take the other side of your side section and stitch it on. After you've stitched both sides of the side section onto the front and back, then go ahead and either do a zigzag stitch or if you have a machine overlock stitch on both seams. After doing that, you're then ready for the binding. On your two strips of binding, make sure you trim the selvage edges off. It's usually that white section. You don't want to keep that on your binding strips. Then bring the two uh, strips together, stitching them one quarter inch, and then press that seam open. Then fold your binding strip in half and press it all the way down. Place your binding end on the middle of one of the sides, either side, doesn't matter. And you're going to go over about five or six inches and begin stitching. So you want to pin this binding along the edge and stitch about a quarter of an inch all the way around. And when you get to about here, the next seam here, stop stitching, take it out of your machine, overlap the two ends and cut the excess off. You want about a half inch overlap. Then you're going to bring the two ends together, so unfold the binding ends and then fold your uh, sewing machine cover in so that it's easier to bring these ends together. Go ahead and pin the ends along here and I'm at an angle I can't really see that well so I'm guessing as to where these are right now but line them up properly and then stitch about a quarter of an inch along here then finger press this seam open fold your binding in half again and then finish stitching along this edge now go to your ironing board and take your binding and fold it over towards the edge and press it with your iron. Fold the binding over to the back side and pin it down. When you're folding it over, make sure you bring this folded edge here past your stitch line. This is very important. Otherwise, when you go to stitch it down, from the top side, it's not going to catch this side of the binding. Then turn it over to the front side and stitch in the ditch, just like you did the binding on the pocket. So you're stitching on this portion here, but right next to the binding. So do that all the way around the lower edge. Then I recommend that at your ironing board, you press all of the seams, including up at the top. Just pull it over the end of your ironing board and you can uh, press it that way. For more sewing related projects, such as other sewing machine covers, sewing machine organizers, pin cushions, and other items, go to the green screen at the end of this video and click on the links. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on thumbs up and don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Enter your email address, click on that little bell so you receive email notifications about my latest video. I'm Cheryl and I'm so glad you came to my sewing room. See you next time and happy sewing!